Hello and welcome to Tara's Daily Insight and the Open Door. My name is Mitchell, the Intuitive Messenger, and it is Sunday, April the 28th, 2013. And I want to go ahead and set the intention for you and for me that we would receive healing, guidance, confirmation, and a better connection to our higher self simply by watching and listening to this video. And also, I want to set the intention that we would resonate, operate, and vibrate in the highest possible frequency of love that we can today and we would be in alignment and in harmony with our true authentic self and with source so all that being said um, I'm looking forward to this morning and this day um, I am gonna officially open the door right now and step into the other side I do want to say that um, I am adding a blog to my website which is going to um, function as my team spirit posts so when you, if you're someone who is on my Facebook pages, um, whether the fan page or the personal page, the picture will not appear, but there will be a quick link to the website, which is just a quick jump. So let me know if you like that. Um, it's going to be a little easier work for me. Currently, I'm spending about a 45 minutes to an hour every morning putting everything together. And uh, whether you know it or not, I do have a full-time corporate job, and then my intuitive work is nights and weekends. So I just want to make sure I don't ever get burned out. I'm finding that balance in my life. Also, if you are uh, subscribed to my newsletter and you've signed up to get emails from me, if you're not getting them, I'm still working with Vistaprint. They don't seem to be able to know what's wrong. And um, I'm going to give them just a little bit longer before I jump ship and take it to either MailChimp or another site. But what they have instructed me to do, which <sighs> I took a breath, is encourage everyone to add Vistaprint at e.vistaprint.com. And I'll put that right up here where you can see it. Um, so you can add that to your address book and that should make a difference. I added it and still didn't get the email to my own personal one. So all that being said, I've been shuffling. I am heating up. Whew. I don't know if you can see the glow coming on me. When I do, I know there's some real healing going to be happening. Oh, so usually when I'm sitting in front of a Reiki master or a massage therapist, I get warm like no tomorrow. So diving in, shuffle. It's three card Sunday, by the way. So our first card is going to be our wheel. So when we look at our wheel, it's a number 10 card. And number 10, uh, first of all, is a one. So it's about beginnings. But the interesting thing is if you look at this card, you'll see the fool, which is like the, the enlightened one or the monk making his journey. Um, you see all four elements on the um, wheel. And the fool is the one kind of moving it and shifting it. The zodiac symbols are there as well. The wheel often for me will be just kind of like it's just going on. It's like a normal day in the wheel of a hamster gerbil wheel just going around and around and around. So I often in readings will look for a way to tell the client or myself to get off the wheel or why the wheel is important at this point. So it's got its, its light side, dark side, positive side, negative side, however you want to look at it. I look at it as it's got its side that's going to limit you or expand you. And sometimes just being in a, in a stuck position is uh, what you need to do. Just kind of sit there on that wheel. You might need some exercise. <laughs> that's why you're on the wheel. So there is the wheel card. Our second card for today is, uh, and I knew this was going to come up, our six of swords. So looks like something's going to end. So our six of swords, number six is very passive. It's feminine number. Swords are dynamic, masculine. They are the um, uh, element air, and they are logical, mind, mental things. This card is often about endings and new beginnings or the transitioning of things and people. It can represent the death card sometimes. Um, this card did come up earlier this week, so I talked a lot about that. If you want to jump back to that, uh, you can see about that. I'll put that link right here as well, um, where you can click right back to it if you want. So uh, let's pull our third card and see how this story is unfolding today. So seven of wands. So I like that we're progressing in number from six to seven with these last two cards. So our seven of wands, first of all, wands are masculine. They're the second masculine card. Um, cups and coins are the feminine in the deck. And this card is often about surprises. 
if you look at the card, it's like this gentleman person walked in and they got surprised with six other wands at the bottom of the stairs. So it can be a sudden surprise. It's definitely a moving dynamic. There's not any, I'm um, just kind of sitting and waiting, but it's, it's definitely a surprise that's going to move you somewhere. So bringing all three of these cards together to tell a story today would be something simple like, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I need to go into the open door for this one and ask a little bit. It is pretty straightforward in the sense of the, uh, telling the story of the card. So you're on the wheel, you've been stuck. It's time to make that transition. Where you're headed to is going to be a complete and utter surprise for you. Um, since it's wands, use the creativity of yourself and what's happening to find um, the balance, the peace within that surprise, within that. I feel this is a lot around work for you. Um, if you know someone who's going through some transition where they're absolutely just bored out of their mind with work, which I got to tell you, that's probably 90% of Americans, if not around the world, uh, because we're looking for more purpose. We are being shifted and our vibration is raising. We're realizing that we're in a job that we probably thought we were supposed to be in and now we want to shift and move and change. And But also, I, I was just told to tell this, example like me, I'm in a job that I truly do enjoy and love, a full-time career, and I kept, you know, when I first started working intuitively, I kept thinking, I can't wait to turn this into my full-time job. And then I realized, you know, that is a rough road in the sense of it would be like, you know, contract, labor, I'd have to get my own insurance, health insurance, and all that kind of stuff. And Spirit just kept saying, you're in the right place. You have a job you love, great benefits, um, great hours, flexibility, you work autonomously, you can build your life and your career this way, and you'll finish off the last part of your life doing this life coaching intuitive work. So I have embraced it, and it's been much better since then. So uh, get off that wheel, create the change that you want. It's going to be a surprise where you're headed, but don't let that scare you. Use your creativity to get through it. So thank you so much, and uh, uh, I will talk to you in the open door coming up soon. Well, hello, and thank you for staying tuned in. This is The Open Door, and I am Mitchell. And uh, I, I've got lots of stuff and images in my head, just trying to figure out where to start with. I'm seeing um, a boat again. Uh, it feels like this is just someone's means of traveling. So it's telling me that someone's traveling on a very emotional place right now um, because it feels like they're out west in a very mountainous area, Colorado, the canyon area type thing. Um, uh, our grandmother is acknowledging your challenges that you're going through. This is someone who's passed on the other side. Um, feel like the name is like Barbara. Uh, this would be the grandmother. Um, might be your name, but I think it's the grandmother's name. Acknowledging, supporting you through this rough time that you're going through. Um, feels like separation, uh, relationship, potentially divorce. So they're absolutely honoring that. She's showing me two children as well, but a third that's out of the house. So there might still be two in the house, one out off at college or something. So she's acknowledging that, sending you absolute love. Um, uh, her last name, it's either a plain name like Smith or she's just, it's either Smith or just a simple plain name like Smith, meaning a very common name. Sorry, I don't mean to call your last name plain or your mother's maiden name. So offering lots of love and support there for you from Barbara. Um, definitely seeing um, our, our president, uh, well, uh, Obama, pointing a finger, not in judgment, but in direction. So that'll be interesting. It feels like... Um, uh, you know, I do not follow a lot of politics and news, period. I am not, my head is not in the ground, but I just avoid things that are toxic and look for the bullet points. Uh, and I ask spirit, I, I have an agreement with them, keep me informed of what I need to be informed of. Um, it would be absolutely impossible to know everything that's going on in the world. So, but I see this as a direction and a point, which um, it'll be interesting to see what that has. It's almost like a still image, too. So, um, and it's, ah, uh, there's also him um, laying down the gauntlet, telling someone to cease, stop. It's, I don't want to say ultimatum, but that's definitely what it feels like. Um, getting the images of even like Korean stuff. So, uh, like I said, I'm just saying what I'm seeing, folks. No judgment, no politics here, no sides, nothing. Um, so, it'll be interesting to see what pops out of that. Um, 
I tell you, uh, I, 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 I just got to see the uh, report of the, the quake that happened in California, and I was just told there's going to be one more this week before this time next Sunday. Um, bigger 4.5 I'm seeing this time. So, again, send love and light out to that area, and um, we, we, uh, we hope it'll be minimal, um, but a wake-up. And I was just hearing Mother Earth is shifting so much out in that area because that's where a lot of the great growth and change is going to come from. So it's like she's preparing that part of the country, of the world, for more growth and um, more change. So uh, that, that will also be very interesting to see how that kind of pans out. So... I think that's about it. If you uh, skip forward to this part, and I wanted to let you know I'm, I've added a blog to my website, but it's basically going to be, be the Team Spirit messages, which are the photos that I post on my Facebook fan page. Um, so the pictures are not going to appear there, but you just do a quick link to see that, and then you can also see all the backdated ones from there. If you uh, have signed up for my newsletter and you're not getting it, still working on that with um, Vistaprint, you can add vistaprint at e.vistaprint.com to your address book. That might help. I'm hoping it does. Always check your spam folder too. Let me know if you're not receiving it. Or if you are receiving it, just send a smiley face back that you got it. Because um, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this as I move forward. I do feel like spirits got something in store. That's why this is, is becoming so frustrating. So all that being said, you have a wonderful day. And I say to you, namaste. Website is right here. Check out some of the services that I have. Um, and, uh, you know, keep, keep in tune here. And I will talk to you later. Oh, past the 200 mark. Um, on video subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On my fan page, I am a 499, so I believe one of you will go over there today and be the 500th person to like my fan page. Um, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys tomorrow.